Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Learn more at omaze.com forward slash Jacob Harrell. I like to think that I live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. A land of rolling green hills and quaint little villages. It's where I grew up, where I'm trying to start my little building career. It's where I got married a few weeks ago. But it's missing a few things. Mountains, the sea, and a bit of adventure. And so, when we were deciding where to go on our honeymoon, it could only be one place. Scotland. He lives! We're off on honeymoon. Think of this film as a scrapbook of our adventures. <laughs> really, it's a diary. Oh, no way. You're kidding. Go on. Whilst we tried to get Oscar Alvan going, I wanted to tell you about how you could win a brand new Mercedes 4x4 Sprinter van that won't have trouble starting like ours. I would like to thank today's sponsor, Omaze. They give away one-of-a-kind prizes whilst donating to chosen charities all across the world. One winner will win a Mercedes 4x4 Sprinter van with an $80,000 eco-friendly conversion by Van Smith. It has a fully converted interior and your choice of adventure-ready exterior upgrades. Look at this thing, it's insane. <laughs> Best of all, your Sprinter is sustainable. It has rooftop solar panels to power everything from the fridge to the interior lights. And you'll get Van Smith's green package, including all natural build materials and a carbon offset package to fund environmental repair programs. For your chance to win the Sprinter van and support the Honold Foundation, they are a fantastic charity. It's a great cause. Please go to www.amaze.com forward slash Jacob Harrell. Yes! He lives! <laughs> he lives! And that's it. We're off on honeymoon. Tenth of August, 2021. Attempted to leave early. Failed. Ended up getting as far as the petrol station, where we remembered that the petrol gauge doesn't work. It's important to say we hadn't planned to visit the Scottish capital. We didn't think we would make it that far. We explored vibrant old streets, little courtyards, and gothic buildings galore. The 11th of August. We drove from Edinburgh towards the Scottish Highlands and Glencoe, where our adventure was due to begin. Upon reaching our Highland border, it bucketed it down, almost instantly. It was so wet and misty, Amber could barely see the mountains. Onwards to Loch Arcade, in search of our first overnight van stop. And we found the best spot ever. On the shore of the loch, tucked into some trees, magical. Heavenly. The midges, however, were from hell. We opened a bottle of champagne, couldn't enjoy it, midges. Sat to watch the sunset, gave up, midges. Went swimming, midges. Cooked dinner with midges. Went to bed with midges. 12th of August. We woke up in the most lovely spot, made lovelier by the lack of midges. We drove Oscar out of the precarious spot and headed towards the waterfalls. Our first walk of the honeymoon began through track, forest, over streams and through the glen. The views were incredible. Particularly over Loch Arcade where we had spent the night. I ruined the morning by accidentally overfilling Oscar's oil. 
cue many swear words. Then it rained. Again. Cue even more swear words. Why couldn't I just As I began fixing the problem that I had caused. Then our ferry to the islands was cancelled. More swear words. The rain intensified when we tried to see the Harry Potter steam train at Glenfinnan. We missed it. We went to bed feeling very unhoneymoony and damp. 13th of August. We actually managed to catch the steam train. I practiced with a normal train, ready to capture the Hogwarts Express. Then the big moment arrived. And I really messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> what followed was a magical drive, driving towards Kilcoen. Scotland's coastal beauty revealed itself. What a road! Stopping occasionally to admire the views from a single track with windy roads, we found our way to a place called Sanna Sands. The landscapes morphed into a scene from Jurassic Park, mind-blowing. We made it to the most beautiful and windiest beach in existence. Before heading off on the never-ending single-track roads to the lighthouse at mainland Britain's most westerly point. This place is amazing! It was a day full of adventure, but the best was yet to come. What's the coolest thing about van life? This. When we pulled up in the remote wilderness, overlooking the valley and Lockham. Dinner followed, joyous. Best day so far. We woke up to a cloudy but beautiful morning. It is so remote, we decided to walk up there to get a view and see if we could actually see any human life at all. We walked through bog, grassland and more bog to reach the little summit, overlooking this huge alien landscape. Back on the road we made our way towards Kilcoen and onto our first ferry of the trip, towards Tobermory and the Isle of Mull, where it was actually sunny. Amber loved it, and even Vampire Jacob didn't mind. We're on Mull. We are on the island of Mull. Oh, it's beautiful. Tobermory is a wonderful place, full of life, colour, and weird flavours of whiskey-related ice cream. Before buying some real whiskey, that we pretended we liked. The rest of the day felt like a whirlwind of random but wonderful things. We visited some weird plant-covered shops and found a random coastal fairy tale-like castle. <laughs> the oldest pub on Mull that sells takeaway lobster. A tiny fishing port that caught the evening light. And finally, the white sands of Calgary Bay. A stunning, calm and warm evening. Sleeping to the sound of the sea and under some of the clearest stars the UK has to offer. 15th of August. 
making our way to the Isle of Ulva, past sheep that refuse to move, through winding roads dipping down to sea locks and up to mountainous passes. Past fields with highland cows, where we stopped for ages because Amber loves them. Yeah, this was unexpected. Through waterfalls galore, where I was too scared to film the biggest drop over the edge. So we climbed in the opposite direction up to the top. We hadn't planned to take any boat trips today, but accidentally finding our way onto a boat bound for the legendary Isle of Staffa and home to the breathtaking geological formations of Fingal's Cave. Or, as Amber described it, a bunch of smarty chocolate tubes packed next to each other. <laughs> After a little exploration, we headed back to Mull, seeing some lazy seals along the way. The next section has no video footage. That's because we couldn't find a campsite for love nor money. We drove for hours upon hours, with frustration growing by the minute. Finally, in the dark, we found a site. We wondered what we'd be waking up to the next morning. 15th of August. Without realising, we had once again made it to a glorious beach. This one, however, was covered in beautiful grey drizzle. Hurried away by the weather and a big driving day ahead of us, we set off towards the ferry at Fishnish. God, that is impossible to say. Fish... Fishnish. Our time on Mull was coming to an end. Back on the mainland, the scenery once again rose up into the clouds. The locks widened, and the sun came out. Amber missed most of it as she was asleep. Our journey continued, stopping for a brief walk around Glencoe village and a cute little pottery. Side note, without knowing, the potter used to be a lodger of my great grandmother. Small world, eh? It was just mad. Anyway, we settled down by water once again, made a crack in hot chocolate and sat down to write this diary. Scotland must have known that this part of our honeymoon was coming to an end, as we were treated to the best sunset of the trip. Seventeenth of August. Here we are, the last day of Scotland. Kilmartin Glen and Dunad Fort was our first stop the site where Gaelic kings were crowned 2,000 years ago. So, Amber, naturally, crowned herself queen. Onwards to Inverary, more ice cream and more castles followed, this being the seat of Clan Campbell. And our most intriguing local food yet, Amber's eating her first ever battered Mars bar. The rest of the day was filled with quick stop-offs. Honeymoon Bridge, Loch Lomond, and finally, the shore of the River Clyde at Dumbarton. It was our final evening in Scotland, so we took out the whiskey that we pretended we liked, poured ourselves several large measures, and reminisced about the glorious place that is Scotland. We're off on honeymoon. What a road. This place is amazing. Thank you for watching and thanks once again to Omaze, 
Donate $10 and you are entered for the chance to win an incredible Sprinter van and support the Honold Foundation. Just use the link omaze.com forward slash Jacob Harrell.